Welcome back to Mayo Clinic Radio. I'm Dr. Tom Shives. And I'm Tracy McCray. Well, the next time you take your child in for a well-child visit, you may notice something new. Your nurse or provider may take a minute or two to paint a fluoride varnish on their teeth. The teeth? What's up with that? (laughs) The well-child visit? They would do that? Hmm. Well, we're going to find out. Joining us in studio is pediatrician Dr. Valeria Cristiani. She is in the Division of Community Pediatric and Adolescent Medicine at Mayo Clinic. Welcome to the program, Dr. Cristiani. Oh, happy to be here. (laughs) So why is it, if you're in for a well-child visit, that you get some dental work done? Yes, it's very important because we know that a child's health is actually the overall health, right? The mouth is part of the body, and we know that children that have a good oral health are healthier mm-hmm. overall. And we know that in many communities, including ours, access to dental care for uh, children is um, a, a problem. So we know that prevention works the best. So what we're trying to do is to prevent early childhood cavities. And, and how long have you been doing this? So the, uh, the, uh, we've been doing it here at Mayo Clinic since 2014 uh, with, with the pediatric residency program. But what's new is that this past year, well, actually, tw- yes, last year, we um, started doing it and with the nurses. So nurses now can apply for varnish during well-child visits. Before it was some providers, but yeah. I thought that most communities have got fluoride in the water, so Uh we didn't have to worry about that. So why take this additional step? Yeah, that's a great question. So there's a difference between the uh, fluor... uh, First of all, uh, water fluoridation is one of the major uh, public health um, accomplishments of our, you know, of, of our life. So uh, fluoride in the water is very healthy and supports oral health throughout. So the, the topical fluoride varnish is, is in addition to what you, the amount of fluoride that you have in the water. That would be more when you drink water and it has fluoride, you just basically, your body absorbs that. This is different that the this the fluoride varnish is a topical treatment, and uh, so it's a it's a very good dose of fluoride that goes like right there to your teeth, and it creates a strong enamel so that the teeth are stronger, and that is what prevents the the cavities. Do we know how fluoride prevents cavities? I guess you just alluded to it. It is mm-hmm. it, it makes the enamel stronger, and and how mm-hmm. and why does it do that? So it has to do with um, kind of like the acids and the uh, the acids in the balance of, um, you know, of bacteria and uh, and sugars and so how they interact. So uh, we know that uh, fluoride varnish is one of the most evidence based um, things that we can do during well child mm-hmm. checks, um, and um, it has been uh, studied, you know, th- you know, thoroughly throughout the past decades, and. Uh, we know that the it's actually one of the main things that the uh, United States uh, uh, Preventive Task Force recommends as a Category B uh, preventive service. Uh, when you look at all the things that we do during well child checks, not all of them have like such um, support from evidence. And what about the ADA, the American Dental Association? Yes. Does it endorse it also? Yes, and and also the um, the American Pediatric. A dentist association. Well, yeah. if mm-hmm. you are taking your child to the dentist, are they uh-huh. getting a double dose of fluoride varnish? So you don't. They, the the answer to that is they don't have to. And okay. so, like we, we, one of our questions is, uh, do you have a dental home? And if you do have a dental home, then we don't need to apply the varnish. Um, it it is true that it doesn't really. It doesn't really hurt if you ap- apply the varnish more frequently than what we usually recommend, which is every three months for high-risk children or every six months for uh, low-risk children. But uh, no, if they had it done at the dentist, we don't have to. So we actually are collaborating with dentists in our community. We want more general dentists to see uh, uh, zero babies to three years of age. And uh, and we would love to have our dentists do that. And unfortunately, it's it's a, you have to work at this uh, access issue 
uh, in a multi-factorial approach. And so we, uh, prov- you know, care teams are part of the solution. Do you use a brush to put it on? Yes. So it's very slick, actually. It's very easy to do. Uh, it takes about, you know, from 30 seconds to Two minutes, which would be the maximum that it takes, uh, mm. and uh, it's basically uh, you do the the knee to knee position. So what that means is the the parent holds the uh, the baby or the toddler in their lap, kind of like giving them a hug, and and so the then the the knees of the provider are kind of like touching the knees of the parent, and the provider kind of <laughs> like holds the the head of the baby and in the lap, and then you basically use some gauze to dry the mouth a little bit and then you paint the teeth uh, does it taste very, okay yes it tastes wonderful it's uh, bubble gum and <laughs> it tastes actually really good yeah they're kind of like, mm, mm. So, so, bubble so, gum yeah. without the sugar <laughs> exactly right <laughs> but a lot of children i know we don't want kids to have cavities but their sure. teeth fall out their baby teeth fall out so That's why is right. it so important not to get cavities in baby teeth mm-hmm. because the the there's a lot of consequences, health consequences that are bad if you have early childhood cavities in baby teeth. So first of all, they hurt, uh, they uh, they can have troubles growing because they cannot feed properly. So we've seen children with failure to thrive or poor growth because of it. They're very fussy, they can cry at night. Uh, if they're older children, then they have school problems. Um, you know, the parents have to take time off from work to go get them treatment. And also the problem problem is that uh, uh, the um, when a cavity is present you have to treat it you cannot just let it go because it gets worse and worse and worse to the point that sometimes kids have to go to the uh, uh, operating room under anesthesia to get these treated really? yes okay, we, mm-hmm. we don't want that to happen nope get mm-hmm. the brush out <laughs> yep <laughs> we have about 30 seconds left what are some other good oral health tips for kids um, parents are the number one advocates and caretakers of oral health so they should brush their uh, children's teeth twice a day and they should use a fluoridated toothpaste but uh, if the child is less than three years of age only a smear like a grain of rice and then older than three is pea size because we want fluoride but we don't want too much fluoride Well, it's new, it's intriguing, and it can prevent cavities in young children. Fluoride Mm -hmm. varnish applied to the teeth every, what, three to six months. Our guest has been Mayo Clinic pediatrician, Dr. Valeria Cristiani. Thanks (laughs) so much for joining us, Dr. Cristiani. It's my pleasure. Thank you.